Hi guys, if you've been watching my channel, you've been noticed the overhead light that I use. I love these overhead light, by the way. Um, I got a bunch of them, probably like, I think I have eight of these. I use it for pretty much everything, uh, repairs, reading light, uh, pretty much everything, overhead light or uh, nightstand light. However, uh, they come with an intrinsic problem. Um, the most noticeable is that the head is always loose. So what happened is these things, because of its design, there's, there's a screw here that's always loose here. Eventually it falls off if you move this enough of time. I actually have one of these that did that, which I just repaired uh, before I make this video. So today I decided to make a video showing you guys out there who also love these headlights I, as much as I do um, to how to repair them. Mostly artists use them. I notice a lot of people who do the oil paintings or whatever, they need full spectrum of light. This light comes with a, a 25 watt fluorescent light bulb which is white and then you can put like a LED or another fluorescent uh, light bulb that's yellow light spectrum and then overall you get like a pretty bright spectrum. It's actually pretty cool. It's, it's similar design of what the um, surgery headlights like. And we actually use this one for microsurgery um, in the labs. And it worked out pretty well. The surgeon was pretty impressed with it. Anyways, so I'm gonna show you how to um, disassemble this in case if you wanna do repairs or simply just fixing this annoying uh, screws here. Okay, so today I'm gonna use my electric screwdriver. It's, this is also pretty handy too. Uh, I'm gonna make a review video soon for this, or you could just look at it in this video, you know. Okay, so make sure first your Avon's uh, task light is unplugged. And unscrew this two top screws. So just do as such. It makes the job a lot easier if you have an electric screwdriver. And as you can see, the screw just fall out like that. Uh, one way to prevent that is to use a magnetic pro map on CyberDuck. We sell these on our website, uh, cyberduckllc.com. So you can put screws on it. And you can, it's actually uh, white erasable as well, so you can actually draw with a erasable marker in case if you want to mark down um, for you. While I'm at it, let's do this. So I'm gonna write, I'm gonna draw a picture actually. It's gonna be headlight. Alright, uh, here we go. And the screws here, there's two screws, the one over here. This, luckily, um, this repair is not that complicated, so you don't really need to draw too much. Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, this thing also comes with a little magnet. So far, I really like the screwdriver. Here we go. Okay. So yeah, this, these mats are pretty good. Like, uh, you can hold the screw pretty strongly. I'm almost like 90 degree. I'm 90 degree right now, and the screw holds on the mat. But I wouldn't suggest you do that all the time when you do the repair. You know, it's better to keep this but uh, flat, you don't want to be really stung with it. That's not what's designed for. Anyways, so once you're taking out those two top screws on this task light, you can then remove the centerpiece. It takes a little bit of wiggling. Uh, I recommend you to take out the center light bulb and put it aside, just in case you break it. You never know. But it takes a little bit of wiggling. There's nothing really holding it to it except the cable because I think it gets stuck. And once you get all the entire uh, assembly out, unfortunately this thing is a little bit bent up. Alright, there we go. So this is the center assembly. These are the two switches that you saw on top uh, for each of the light bulbs. And there is all the magnets in and the circuitry is inside here. There's uh, some... I opened this once before, I don't really exactly remember what it was in there. I think it was some transistor and capacitor, pretty simple circuits in there. And that's pretty much it. Uh, it's a pretty good light. Now, 
This is where the problem is at. Let me take it out for you and let you see what it is. I'm gonna use a little micro wrench for this job. Uh, if you're doing a repair with this arm still attached to the light, in this case you can just tighten it and that will be all oh, this little nut over here. See? Little hexagon nut. But I want to take it out and show you what it looks like. So I'm gonna loosen it even more. Pick it up and show you what to do in this for a while. Uh, my other light bulb. So even if you lose this nut and washer, I'm sure you can simply buy these from a local hardware store. See these two? This is a little very pretty much standard. Um, let me check. I think this might be the. Oh, I don't have it here. Yeah, I actually do. I'll be right back. have a similar knot that's like a replacement I think this was one mm, I think one fourth of an inch for this uh, a thread and the knot so I think I'm gonna put the the better knot I have because this knot obviously has some problems with the uh, plastic in the bag or however it was not tightened tight enough I don't know I'm still debating maybe I should change it now nah, let's use the original just in case the new one doesn't fit quite right. Anyway, so I think this is, uh, I'm pretty sure this is one fourth of an inch thread knot. Okay, so this little piece comes off and you can disassemble it on the arms comes out like this. And put this on the mat, just in case I lose it. So this way I don't lose it, because it's magnet. Anyways. So this is the arm, sometimes you end up Getting your light come out like this, which is not pleasant when you're reading. I was reading and then it falls out on my head. Anyways, so uh, let's just put this back now. So you want to align. I don't know if you can see. There we go. I'm zooming for you. Uh, here we go. Very good. Okay, so you want to align this from the back. This three. Let me show you. There's three prongs, uh, one, two, three. The middle is the screw, has thread. The other one is just an appendage, you know, sticking up the balance. Anyway, so you put it in, okay. Uh, it would help, it'd be helpful if you have another person help you, but or you could do this balancing it. Um, you can put this little mounting piece. It's kind of like a washer kind of thing, functions. And then you put the actual washer. Um, if you have another washer that's better, you could probably replace it because this thing doesn't work great. Okay, so this is the original nut. I'm sure there's a new nut that I have just hanging around will work just fine too. See, so it goes on just fine. Perfect fit actually. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the original nut because I have no use for this otherwise. Uh, I have plan for the other nut, that's why I have it. Anyways, so this goes on. And what I have here is a little micro wrench you can pretty much get it from any hardware store uh, this is uh, 10 and oh, there we go zoom in zoom in difficulty here anyway so this is 10 let me zoom out a little yeah. uh, this is 10 and 3 and the 8th whatever that means for sizing that's the knot um, yeah Okay, so then you click it to tighten in this way. And what you do is just make sure the bag is aligned, nothing falls off on the table, and do the wrenching. And tighten. Pretty straightforward at this point. I wish I can use a scooter, like electric scooter for this. I'm getting really lazy now, nowadays, thanks to my uh, electric screwdriver. I've been using it for pretty much everything. Whoa. I need a bigger table for this job. Uh, so yeah, if you're at home, 
doing this on the bed is probably the best because nothing will be like sliding over the place. Anyways, so that'll be it. And I'm gonna get some extra titan. So I don't know how to do this job again on the fly for uh, hopefully for a really long time. So there we go. Hi. My right hand has more force, so that's why I'm doing this backwards. Which is ironic because I'm actually left handed. Anyways, that's the story for another day. Yeah, there we go. I think that's pretty tight. Alright, so that's it. Before we put this light assembly back, I want to show you um, see how tight it is. No more loose wiggling of the arm. See that? Okay, so the job is done. Now you just need to put this back to its original location. The whole assembly is not held up by anything, it's just cable in there. Uh, you want to make sure these cables are uh, protected. They're not actually soldered, they are clamped. So this plastic thing, uh, the only thing that's hold holding it without, you know, like getting this become conductive and shock you. So you want to make sure those things are still in there. And because this light, now is actually a good time to fix this. It's not strong, but it doesn't budge. Anyways, so you want to put this whole light piece in and now the tricky part is get it in while these two switch has to match. Um, there's only so many ways you can do this. Let's see. So just align it. There we go. This is probably the best way to do it. And push it in. Now this is where it doesn't matter coming handy for the screws. You put the screw back in. You just just thread it a little bit, make it in. Oh, that right, ain't good. So if you put the mat underneath, then that'll help. Anyways, so let's just put it in a little bit. Zoom out. There we go. Move it a little bit from the back so you can get the thread going. Once it's even in like two cycles, then you can use the electric screwdriver if you have one, or just a regular screwdriver in that case. And I want to make sure I have the loosest setting just in case I break the screws. This thing makes my life so much easier. Anyway, so that will be all. That's how you fix your oven um, task, task light for, I guess, I don't know what you do with it. Microsurgery, at home, electronic repairs, or painting, arch, reading, stuff like that. I don't know. It's just a great light overall. Uh, this thing goes on about, I think, $70, $80. It depends who's selling it on Amazon. Um, only bad thing I can think of is the screw and also the attachment that comes with that hooked this up. This is like a C coin kind of thing. It's not so great. Uh, but there are ways to fix it by fixing it, I mean, you know, not using it. Just drill a hole on a piece of wood or whatever. Then use that as the base, which works out pretty well for me. I have a bunch of other ones, but that will be the end of this video. If you want to see more of this repair, you can continue to watch this video. Because I have more of these lights I need to be fixing. Um, but that's pretty much it. If you just want to know how to fix it, you can pretty much post this video and end it now. Uh, but then for now, I'm just going to fix my other lights. You go stay and, welcome to stay and watch, we don't have to. Anyways, so I will be able to work out. Those of you not staying, thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful. For those of you staying, see this is a similar model as white as uh, black compared to the white one that I just repaired. We have the same annoying problem, so I'm gonna do that too. It's a lot faster if I don't have to talk while I'm doing this. But anyways. Okay.
I don't know how much fast I could do this. You guys should time it and see how fast this can be done. I'm gonna say maybe a minute or two. Pretty easy when you have the right tool. So I'm very lucky for having it around because I do other repair stuff for hobby. Yeah. Two at a time. Awesome. Alright, next. Next. you all have a lot of these. This is what I'm talking about, um, LED light. I, I never bought it for like, this is like a 100 watt or 75 watt replacement for um, indolescent lights, but this is LED. It's actually pretty hot because it was on at the time. Um, pretty expensive. It was like a 10, 20 hours. Okay, so there we go. This is my fourth for today. Oops. Okay, so you can adjust the strength here to actually doing something instead of being like the screwdriver. So when you have a screw, it's better to make it maximum strength. And when you are screwing in, make sure you have the lowest setting for the screwdriver. Otherwise, you might hurt the thread on the screw. Ta 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 ta, this thing's still hot. Okay. Wiggle my way out without burning myself. Come on. So, I do this on a bigger desk because this is really weak. Things falling out. Uh, can we 
for that I'll kill for them rope this cable, which is not really a big deal, it's just a grounding cable, don't really need it, ish. But, uh, don't pull it out, because it looks like something gonna pull out. Anyways, wrench, same thing, just tightening it. Well, let me make sure, yep, doing the right thing. Tightening, tightening. Just tie as you humanly can. I can see why these are not tightened in the factory, I'm, I'm bad at <laughs> Obviously this is done by a human, somebody had to do this and because they're saving costs on the screw nut, having only one, having a very small and a funny odd angle without a proper right tool in the factory, I would... And if you had to do these like hundreds of day or whatever, it's thousands at the factory. I would imagine the guy who does this job doesn't like his job and don't really tighten it all the way down because it doesn't have to. But then when we buy these, we suffer. We have to do it. But I, I can I can see why these are not tightened in the factory, that's what I'm trying to say. Because they're not easy to do. If I do thousand of these, I'm doing only four on the other breath. It's like, why? Okay. Here we go. One more screw. When I'm done, I can go back to read. Yeah. There we go. I can't even imagine the days without these screwdrivers. Oh, I forgot to adjust the setting. I'm gonna break my screws. Awesome. Awesome. Alright, fixed. Yeah, and then we're going. Okay, thank you for watching. That will be the end of our repair video. And. See you next time. Bye.